you can decide not to be angry. Control is in the hands of reality, of the divine, of love, of Satchitananda, of God. Let go, simply allow. You will live fully, you will live life lovingly, you will be free. In time, you may even realize your true self. In the meantime, resentment creates the ego and anger provides a distraction away from the true self. We go on and on squandering our energy in an orgy of anger in all its many forms. Why do we stay in relationships which perpetuate anger and hate? Why remain in careers and jobs that we hate doing? and become chronically embittered? Why do we maintain habits that cause us unrest and frustration and depression? Why do we, we perpetuate habits which we hate ourselves for and become disgusted with ourselves? Our lives hinge on a single choice. Be loyal to the lie or be loyal to the truth. Once you have made your decision, the choice is self-perpetuating. This means that lies lead to falsehoods, lead to more lies, and eventually you feel and become lost. Truth leads to deeper truth and wisdom and empowerment and skill in life and eventually to clarity. Which will you choose? Is it really that simple, Richard, you may say? Yes, it is. It is immensely simple. Choose truth, choose love, choose wisdom and compassion, peace, contentment, choose happiness. Why wouldn't you? The world seems quite mad sometimes. You look at the choices people appear to be making and you can't help thinking the world is a very mad place. But consider for a moment, are people really making choices? Are people ready for choosing? Are people competent to make choices? We would like to think so. But you notice how sheep-like people can be, nodding and agreeing and wanting to be liked, to conform, to fit in. People seem to want to follow, to not think for themselves. The shocking Milgram experience on obedience to authority in the early 60s, 1960s, set out to answer the question, were the Nazi soldiers who were responsible for the deaths of so many simply following orders? The answer seems to be they were. Several replications of the Milgram experiment have been created over the last 60 years, perhaps because the findings are so very hard to believe. But each time the conclusions have been the same or similar to the original experiment. Recently on Discovery Channel, a show called How Evil Are You? confirmed People really haven't changed much. 